Hello and welcome to another episode of Scum. This time in Scum we join one of the most competitive servers around. As usual, with the goal to collect as much loot as possible, reach true endgame and build a strong base. But there was a twist. Usually when choosing our base location, we would go for the mainland, as it is the best and the easiest way to build. But this time we had other plans in mind. We wanted to challenge ourselves by living on an island. This would prove to be tough, as supplies are limited and you're very dependent on a boat and a plane. But we were ready to take this challenge on. The question, however, was how long we could survive on this island without getting raided. Well, my first surprise when arriving on the island was that we were not the only one that had this island in mind. There was another team living here and they were already building. This would make this challenge even harder than I expected and we hadn't even started yet. The island was one of the bigger ones but for two teams it was not enough. So I decided to try to talk to the owners. Here it is. There's another one. This is the one you're talking about, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, they made the second floor. No, it's our land. Two players. Hi. Eight. I can just light the TNT. Yeah, if he doesn't, if he doesn't want to be allied, I'm going to the bunker, getting a screwdriver and raiding him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could feel the owner was a bit nervous and skeptical about my offer, and I felt I could win him over if we could just talk. My thought was that it was better for us to be allied and fight off other players coming to the island than having to fight each other every day. So I asked if we could talk instead of chatting. Hello. Hello. Do you have any mines? Hello. Hello, bro. How you doing, what man? What are you doing on this island? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna build there, and then I saw this massive base, and I was like, oh my days. I was thinking it's better to be allied uh, if we're gonna live on the same island than to keep fighting a little, you know, civil war. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uh, if you look in this direction, you see our old base. It got raided on the first day. Oh, so... really? What squad there are uh, coming it? many, many squads. Uh, MSC, uh, AMB. Yeah, who who, who raided you? Uh, the big squads on the server. They coming you, with you, you, you uh, didn't know airplane. exactly who. No, no. Okay. O only the clan. Okay. Yeah, you need a good base on the server. It's only open world bases, so you need to stack it up. It's 800 yeah, uh, elements, we, right? Uh, you have, uh, like, Hello. 800? I think 800, I, I, I saw, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are building, like, a massive base. It uh, look little, but inside it's kind of, <laughs> you know? A little maze, yeah, I reckon. After chatting for a bit, we came to the agreement of being allied, and we created group chat so we could communicate. The rule was we would not raid each other, but PvP around the island was okay. It would be too complicated if we would have to ask every time we saw each other before we shot. So we made it simple. No raiding, but PvP was okay. After our chat, I made my way over to the bunker in search of better gear. But funny killer is fine, I'm listening on 
Jesus, bro. Ah, uh, thank you, man. <laughs> I need some protein. Appreciate it, guys. All right. Just uh, make yep. uh, get everyone to join the Discord, and then we can communicate through that. Yeah. Nice. All right. Appreciate it, man. Take care. Yeah, yeah, um... All right, we got uh, allies now. Yeah, island boys now. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is happening? So no shooting at the island. Huh? No, no, no. Uh, we fight for bunker and shit. Like, fight for loot, we don't raid each other. And then it's like, uh, if one of us are getting raided, we help each other. Ooh, dialogue. Could be a new, could be a new nice video. Dude, I'm going, f I'm far enough down hell already. <laughs> I know, but don't need to dig deep. We all go with you. Could <laughs> be fun. We raid our base with our ults and say, hey, we got raided. Why did you raid us? And then these ults back then also so prepared. Yeah. It's getting too personal when we have a Discord together. <laughs> they will do that. They're out. If they do that, we'll find out. Team leg on the sky. Remember, they're German. They're very honest. Germans don't break the law. What happens if we break the law in Germany? German doesn't break the law. I'm not sure what happens. Yeah, that's true. Me and some boy yesterday were they were F, uh, offline. If we succeeded yesterday, they would be. We tried to jump over the, the bounce, you know. Uh, top of each other and then he would steal the chests from inside if we failed I got a kit and pistol now high. First kill. Let's go. Cool. Is that one of them, maybe? Mm, I think so. Oh, yeah, this is one of them. <laughs> it's not <And> starting good. <laughs> bro, I, I feel bad already. I mean, you know, that's what we agreed on. Shortly after our agreement, I had of course killed one of them. Like I said, this was a part of what we agreed upon, but it still made me feel a little bit bad. And I also had in the back of my mind that if we kept killing them, it could cause anger towards us, and maybe even breaking up the deal. But for now, I could not keep thinking about this, because we had a base to build that they're building now and the old one they were building wow. yeah i was surprised i thought we would be safer a little bit but uh no oh. 
we're done. Holy shit. Nice, now, now we can upgrade. Bro, look at this we'll, thing, we'll man. Watch room. <laughs> <laughs> we, could be, we could build one more tower. <laughs> Guys, do you hear that? I'm next to seven, I hear the sound of slacking. Getting my water up, I've been working too hard. But after we had made the structure of the base, I discovered another challenge. And that problem was spawning. I got killed by one of our allies and I now had to sector spawn. And the sector spawning on the island, well, that was easier said than done. Therefore, we needed gold so we could bed spawn. And for that, we needed to get a lot of money. And the best place for money was of course the nuclear zone. already drunk. I don't want to push this man. 
I don't even know where like he is. He could be my floor, he could be above me. Like, and if I push in here, he's gonna hear me first. Like, I have no clue. There's the dead. There's a dead guy. Like front right. 34 child. This is such a dangerous uh, swing if I pull out now. I think he's my floor, but if he's above me, man. After waiting and listening for a while, the player had left. It was odd because all the containers were still locked, so what he was doing here remained a mystery. But that didn't matter too much to me, because that only meant more money. I finished up looting and I sold everything at the trader. The next day went mostly into building and looting, but towards the evening, me and Nilmal went to the abandoned bunker. And that's when we stumble upon another mystery. Checking the base. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, there's someone in the bunker. Friend? I heard the uh, vents uh, shaking. Hmm. Uh, he didn't take my, take my gun. Huh? He didn't take my gun. Okay, take it then. Did he leave all your shit? Uh, yeah. There was clearly someone in the bunker and they were struggling, so we decided to wait for them at the exit. But we ended up waiting for a long time. 50 minutes went by and these guys were still in there struggling. But all of a sudden the sound stopped. It was unclear what had happened. Did they die? Were they healing? Were they filling up all the magazines with ammo? We had no clue. So we sat another 15 minutes waiting before we said enough is enough and we went down there. But after searching the whole bunker, we could not find them or the bodies. They had just vanished. And when I got down to the armories, nothing had been searched. Which was great, I mean, we got all the loot of course, but it still didn't answer the question. Where had these guys gone? If they logged out, I mean, that, that would be foolish. The, you stay in the bunker too long, you get kicked out naked, like everything you had with you, anything you found is gone. Either way, the armory was ours, and the same was for the bunker. Uh, feeling good, I would say. for me. Should I go for it? See if you can uh, enter a normal. I have to craft bolts in the okay. bunker, so... Yeah, look at this cheater, man. I knew he was eating. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 